Chateau Latour, 1942. The Chateau Latour, 1942. Nice year. Divided by zero. Sausages, one large, one small, to mock. <laughs> Tomato, bacon, a fried slice, and extra beans. <laughs> Anything to drink? He's nice. The oysters are on a silver platter with crashed ice and seaweed trimmings. Would you like to sample the wine, sir? No, that would be fine. Oh, 
What are you staring at? Nothing. Nothing. That's all right then. Eggs, beans, chips, two fried slices. Sausages, one large one, small tomatoes. The extra beans. And the tea. And side order of beans. Got a long way to go, have you, love? Oh, yes, yes. We're playing scumful. Oh, I see. I hope you win. She's got a nice pair of legs, isn't she? Got far to go, have you? Got far to go, have you? We got the scum thought. As if Baldy here doesn't die of overeating first. Oh, right. Got the time, have you? Pardon? Time. Have you got the time, have you? That office one. Time. Funny thing. Time. There are two ingredients to time. One is the notion of time as a logical space. The other is the notion of its being a logical space used by us to represent relations between events and conceptual connections between concepts. Oh. But this just does not reflect the content of our concept of time. <laughs> Arguably, an object is a teacup only if it has been produced by a conscience agent with some general intention about its use or possible use. And, consequently, in a world devoid of conscious intending agents, while well, there might be things like teacups, there would be no teacups! <laughs> However, this just does not seem to apply in the case of time. Our conception of time is not something not such that we would say of a possible world devoid of conscious agents that while there is something like time, there is literally no time on the grounds that no one was doing any representing in that world. One might wish to hold that a full grasp of our concept of time involves grasping the possibility of using certain mathematical structures in representing the temporal aspect of things. Someone who fails to see this has failed to grasp something about the full concept of time!